Hey everybody! So we just converted a few of our medieval weapons into an Unreal Engine project and I want to show you how to use them. So if you get them from the Unreal Marketplace you can just buy them, download them, it'll install into whatever project you want. But if you get them from RenderCrate, what you want to do is create yourself an Unreal Engine project and then go into where you saved it, go into the content folder of that project and then just drag and drop in the pcrate night weapons into the content folder. Now when you go back to your project and look at your content browser, you should have a pcrate night weapons folder. And if you go into meshes, you'll see all the weapons. Now let me show you really fast how to attach this to your character. So I've got here just a default third person blueprint. So I just want to go into the skeleton and add a place inside the hand where we can attach things. So if you go into the characters folder, into the mannequins folder, under meshes, and the character that this template uses by default is the Quinn Simple Skeleton. So I'm just going to open that up. And we need to find the bone that's inside of the palm of her hand. And this one right here, Hand R, should work just fine. So I'm going to right click on it and go to Add Socket. And we can name this socket Weapon Socket, something like that. Alright, let's save it. Now let's go into the third person blueprint, BP third person character go into the viewport tab. I'm going to click add and search for a static mesh. I'll click and drag this to parent it to the skeletal mesh right here. And then under parent socket, we're going to click the weapon socket, the one we just made. Okay. And now under the static mesh, we can search for one of our swords. I like this arming sword. And if it looks like it's floating outside of the hand, that's all right. Just go ahead and go to your transform values and click these little arrows to reset the default values. Now if it's not scaled properly, you can actually scale it up a little bit right here. So I'm going to go 1.5 maybe. And then you can also position it in, into place a little bit better. Press compile and save. And now when you press play, the character's got the sword in the hand. Alright cool, so that was just a really simple setup. Uh, we actually have a video coming up very soon on our main channel where I show you how to bring in your own custom character and do this exact same process, but also add attack animations. So if you want to learn how to do that, go ahead and subscribe to our main channel if you haven't already, Production Crate. And if you use these swords for anything cool, be sure to tag us on Instagram with it, uh, leave a comment on this video or on Production Crate, or post it on our Discord. Alright, later creators.